Hey guys, I'm upgrading my hard drive today, my MacBook. First, let's remove the battery. Now, there is three screws on the top that we need to remove. And this ac holds access to the RAM slots and the hard drive bay. I'll post a link to in the sidebar to a more fully descriptive edition. This is just a video overview. Okay, so we can remove this piece. And the hard drive is on the left side right now, right under the battery remove lever. And there is a tab we need to pull out in order to get the hard drive out. And you might need a screwdriver in order to pull it out if you can't get it with your fingernail. Okay, so now we just pull it out. It takes a bit of force, but don't be afraid of breaking anything. So here is my old drive, a momentous 5400.3. On the side there are four screws. This holds the bracket on in order to fit it in. We need to remove those screws to use on the next new hard drive. Now the hard drive just slides out. Here's the new drive, a Western Digital WD3200BKT. It is a 7200 RPM hard drive. So now we just put on those four screws again. Be sure the SATA and power ports face the side without the tab to pull out. And there's one more th important thing to remember. Before you do or touch any computer parts, be sure to ground yourself. And be sure to have a stable surface that does not conduct electricity. While this is a carpet, this is not one of those cotton or woolen carpets that creates static if you walk or scrape across it. So this one is more safe. But I, have also, I also have a band that you can attach to a metal surface such as wall outlet which you can get for about five dollars on Amazon that automatically reduces any risk of damaging hardware now we're putting the drive back in basically the same way it came out except for now you push it down you may need a bit of force if it does get jammed and you make sure it doesn't go in sideways like right now Be sure to put the tab back in under the hard drive so you can put the bracket on again. So now we're redoing the three screws that hold the bracket in.
Be sure to check your screws just in case anything is loose. And now finally we can put the battery back in. But wait, there's more. To make everything easier, I'm going to just clone my hard drive back by using an external enclosure on the old hard drive. So this is a USB hard drive case from another external hard drive. And basically, it has screws on the outside so you can take it apart and you can put it in a new drive. And the Seagate drive that I previously used in the MacBook actually came out of this external exclosure. So inside I actually have the stock Apple Drive, the 120 gigabyte 5400 RPM one. Now however your USB enclosure is, you can just open it if it has clips or if it has screws, unmount those and basically you pop the hard drive out, put it back in and replace everything. Basically it slides right out here. You might need to put a little pressure on when you're putting it in or taking it out, but there should be no danger in it. And now we reapply the screws on the back side. Now we slide the drive back into the enclosure and put on the final two screws. Now we are done. Everything is ready to go.